Malaysia's maritime patrol team has just entered the world's busiest shipping lane. More than 70,000 ships, carting half the world's oil and a third of its trade, pass through the Strait of Malacca every year. This patrol is ensuring their safe passage. Up until recently, vessels were being targeted daily by pirates in the water separating Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore. Three years ago, this body of water was the world's number one hotspot for sea piracy. In effect, the Malacca Straits were a war zone. Pirates were arming themselves with hand grenades and automatic weapons. They even commit murder and, and throw the bodies overboard. Um, but in most other instances, um, uh, the, the master and also the crew were released as long as the pirates get uh, what they came for. Many of the pirates operating in the strait were Indonesian. They'd set sail from their poverty-stricken villages along the coast of Sumatra. Their robberies and hijackings made international headlines. Unlike their Somali counterparts, they made few ransom demands, but their uncontrollable attacks saw Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia start joint patrols in 2004. Much of the credit has to be given partly to Indones the Indonesian Navy because the pirates originated largely from Indonesian waters. So the Indonesian navies did their own operational sweeps where the Navy ships would sweep an area, um, search suspected pirate hideouts. Pirates have almost disappeared from these waters. The Regional Piracy Monitoring Agency says maritime attacks in the first nine months of this year dropped 32% compared with 2006. Malaysia operates two patrol boats on the strait 24-7, primarily hunting for drug and people smugglers. At dusk, our patrol boat intercepted an Indonesian ferry but found no culprits. These waters are still by no means secure. But with cooperation and commitment from three nations, it's smoother sailing for ships passing through the Strait of Malacca. Hannah Belsha, Al Jazeera, on the western coast of Malaysia.